Hi, this is how to change the roller on a Renault Traffic or Bavaro or Primastar. It's the um, roller on the bottom of the sliding door. Um, sometimes these sliding doors can start having problems opening and, and closing them and locking the locks as well. So I looked at mine and basically it's quite wobbly. So I thought I'd get a kit off eBay, £8, and then um, fit that. Um, that's the kit, which is basically the whole fitting. It's not just the rollers and stuff it's it's the whole frame that goes with it as well so um it's not too difficult to do um putting it in on the bracket it just pushes in at an angle and then sort of straighten it up and it's it's in there so we want to get those bolts off um this is a, that also can be used for aligning the door so those two bolts and also um you will need to take the trim off uh, on the outside there. This trim had been taken off before so when I hit it it actually just flew off which isn't usually the case. Um, so that's how the trim comes off which is fairly easy and it's got poppet guides. So yep there they are they're like little pushing poppets with guides and they lock into the trim um, so it's just popping them back and uh, putting them, aligning them a bit horizontal. So that's how that trim panel comes off and then all you're looking to do next is to take that rubber bung out. Taking that out reveals uh, the adjuster um, for the bottom of the bracket so or the bolt um, so you just need to undo that 13mm socket um, and then that basically takes or loosens the, the door. Um, I did adjust this door to begin with um, but the, there was catching going on with the uh, switch um, that detects the door shut. So, um, yes, yeah, so this has been taken off the tech before. So, just need to undo that nut. Make sure we don't drop it inside. Otherwise, you're going to have a little bit of a pain because you'd have to take the indoor card off, sliding door card to get the um, nut off or out. Sorry. So, yeah, they're the ones on the inside. Just. Uh, undo those. It's worth pushing the door all the way back. I'll show you this in a minute. I have some jack stands as well, or axle stands, just to support the bottom of the door. But if you pushed it all the way back um, on the uh, slider on the rear, it's, it's supported and it's also kept in place by the roller at the top of the door. So here we are later, an um, old pad and those axle stands just um, making sure nothing falls down. So there we go, the bracket's been removed and you just push up and lift out. And there you can see the old one. Um, it was, the runners were a bit worn down I'd say, um, the rubber wheels, um, and it was a bit floppy. So uh, you can see where the bottom of the door has been rubbing on the frame there, taking the paint away. So um, yeah, it was time, time to renew. So that's the top bit, still holding it in place. And then it's set back on the runner there. And then it was a case of drilling, or trying to drill, a bit of a nightmare for the thing, but um, just drilling out the uh, locator pin. I put on that one too, but it didn't. Um, I'm not sure if they did or not. I just put some um, mobile pin, and the whole thing was rotating, so I couldn't work out a way of undoing it. So I kind of started drilling it, um, just with like a uh, cordless drill. So yeah, it did take um, some uh, a drill bit snap in shortly. Bang. <laughs> That's one gone. Remember that you um, you're only keeping the bracket, um, so that kind of um, roller kind of attachment there, it, it 
you know, I ended up kind of bending it and all sorts, but obviously you just want to keep the main <laughs> do is um, check mine in a couple of months time to make sure it hasn't come loose again. but um, as you can see left with or the stage that I took it to um, I wasn't aware of how flimsy the metal itself is uh, a bit more really so um, yeah the metal is quite flimsy not the actual bracket but the attached bit that I'm trying to take off there uh, so it does give you the opportunity to hit it rather hard with a hammer or um, get a screwdriver big screwdriver or crowbar and just put it in the gap and then lever that and bend bend that attachment till it pops off you just don't you're not keeping any of that you just want the bracket in decent nick and the hole in the bracket to be the same size as it was before so I was trying to just knock the head off but that wouldn't come off so in the end I started levering with a screwdriver you see the gap starting to open up there um, it's still fairly tight I was hoping it was just going to drop out, but it didn't seem to want to drop out. So I prized it off the screwdriver. As you can see, it's fairly, fairly weak. Starting to come away there. And then just levered it off. So there's an insert there which I left in place that's that is needed um, there you can see the worn rollers and then we start looking at the new replacement part which has got that kind of nut and bolt arrangement And that was just a case of securing it to the bracket. One hand is quite difficult. There it's got like a sort of splines that fix in, um, so it's just a, a job of tapping those to insert it, push it in a bit more. And that was the uh, other side, screws on. Again, this is it looks more complicated trying to do it one handed, but there we go, we've got it on there, and then it's a case of working out what size the socket is to uh, to do that up. That was the 13, the 14. The 14 didn't seem to go on the first, it was all a bit strange. And then after I'd done all that up, 
um, it was a case of just greasing it just making sure that the grease was in on the rollers and, and things like that so uh, it doesn't wear out so once nicely greased up we're almost ready to put this in place So, here we go. It's, it's almost you just insert a um, um, vertical position and go on the horizontal with the bracket. You will find that it does stick a little bit, not there, but when you, um, say if you were closing the door so it goes all the way the other way, um, it does stick in the runner slightly. I'm not sure if that's because it's just new and the rollers are bigger, but... Um, also, a quick top tip, before you start undoing those bolts for the bracket, get a pen and mark round on the white door with like a dry marker the outline of the bracket so that you know the original position it was in. Um, because you can, this is the adjustment for the door, um, it's quite hard to get it back or where you think it was originally. Um, you can get sort of um, clean lines where the, the bracket was before, but um, I would just get a dry marker and mark the position of the bracket before so when you get to put it back on you put it exactly in the right position or near enough the factory position and then you can adjust afterwards um, I had to play around with um, something else which I'll talk about in a minute um, so yeah I've just um, doing up the bolts there um, but like I say that's a top tier do that mark it just doing the middle up. The final problem I had was when this is all done, um, the clearance was fine at the bottom, but what I found was the contacts, I, I call them the, I think it's free fingers, the plastic um, with metal connectors on the ends that touch the contacts on the door frame. Um, that, I pushed it out previously because I thought that was causing the locking problem, so um, it was pushed out a bit too much. Um, so I kind of like undid it, pushed the metal back. Um, so that's the flat bits of metal um, on the left of the door, not on the right there, but on the left, like the receiving uh, bit on. It's hard to point. So yeah, uh, just um, see how it goes though. Open and close the door. Um, if you start getting any problems, you can start adjusting the um, bracket. So yeah, that's that's the video. Hope it's been of use. Um, so my van's better now, I can lock it, centrally lock it with a um, key fob, no problem at all. Whereas before it wasn't always locking and I didn't know that it hadn't locked. Um, it didn't do the beep noise when a door hasn't locked properly. So I was walking away and the, the side door was open, like not locked, you could just open it. Um, also the door opens and shuts without any um, problems now. No stickiness. So they're those popper kind of guides for the trim. Um, in the end, I had to just put it on the, using both hands. I couldn't do it. It wasn't a one-handed job. So um, it's quite fiddly trying to film and do it. So um, but it's just a case of pushing it back on, lining up. Um, In the end, you, you see it back on, and I'm just pushing it. It goes the other way actually, so it goes from left to right to push it on. Um, then, obviously, for taking it off, push it towards the front. Um, and that's it. Hope you like the video. Um, if you can subscribe, got any questions, that'd be great. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.